Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing um, basically a new design I came up with for uh, precision shims for the maker wheels. So one of the things that you might realize if you've messed around with these as you get this little fancy shim, it's about a about a millimeter or so high, uh, eight millimeters in OD, five millimeters in um, inner diameter. But you know the thing is, is for some reason, with the packages I bought, I got one a piece, and this was a bit of a problem. So in my initial design, I had printed out uh, basically these as tapered spacers, but I've since updated the design and then. So basically what I have, and I'll put these up on Thingiverse, is I've got, I've printed a shim. Now these have been printed at basically 100% infill with uh, uh, 0.1 layer height. And I think that's really important, uh, those two. Now, it is a little bit tight fit, so, uh, you know, basically uh, either you have to clean them out or just kind of thread them together. And this is what I've been doing. Is just threading them together, and I kind of wanted you, to, kind of wanted to share. So I use basically a pair of pliers to get them started like this, um, because I want to keep them relatively snug, and basically screw them on like this. Then it goes, you know, once basically they become threaded. And sorry for my fat fingers. It goes on pretty quick. And you just slide the wheel on the wheels at the bottom like that then you take this piece obviously the taper goes in towards the wheel and same same basic thing with that is I just kind of slip them in the players here get the uh, get it started Now the nice part is, is these these are pretty well toleranced, so you can tighten them right up on the wheel, and the wheel still spins very freely. And the reason that I've done this this offset right here is because when I've been using it on something like this that is designed to go up to, up there, the you know if I just put the spacer in, a lot of times the pressure will pull it close enough where it kind of rubs. Or that kind of stuff where you know this you know no problem and I've got the offset of the uh, you know from the wheel striking any type of object so this has worked out <coughs> excuse me uh, rather well and then basically you can just screw these in and so as you can tell I'm making a camera slider I'll be doing a video on this in the very near future and uh, you can see it actually comes out looking pretty good um, And then, you know, I just basically, you know, say that a lot, just kind of snug this up and wheel, the wheels turn very nice. So um, if you're working, you know, so basically I've substituted the, the plastic ones for, for the metal ones you see here. Now I'll save these. You can never, it never hurts to have those around. Um, this is really a nice touch, and I like the, the, the colored banding here at the beginning. Um, has worked out really well. So again, I'll put the link to Tinkercad and Thingiverse um, down below that way. And um, you know, hopefully this helps. Again, if you're working with maker wheels or, or doing something with that and you need some precision shims, you now have a place to go to get them. Um, again, I'd print these .1 layer height and basically 100% infill and uh, they come out pretty good. I printed these on my uh, DaVinci 2O so uh, and they are ABS but I think you know PLA will work just fine too. Uh, might be a little bit of resiliency difference but I, I think fine. Um, you know but they'd also I think be nice in like a polycarbonate or, uh, or another hard plastic too. Um, I think when I get the new printer and I'm going to experiment with uh, doing that. So anyways hey Give it a thumbs up. Uh, as always, we enjoy your viewership. Uh, subscribe. Stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more of this coming. Cheers.